Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I thought it might be interesting to do a clean with me video. So if you guys want to clean with me while you're cleaning your own rabbit's room or if you just want to sit down and watch, that's fine too. So I'm starting out in Sterling and Ebony's room. This was kind of a disaster because they have a really bad habit of digging the hay out of their hay boxes and throwing it all over the floor. So this was going to be a big task, but I started in their shelf area and I'm just moving everything out of their corner shelf so that I can vacuum it and uh, get all the hair off of it because they are shedding a little bit. If you guys see me with this backpack throughout the video, uh, you guys can check out my second channel if you guys are curious, but basically I'm running fluids while I'm cleaning because it was a fluid day. Anyways, so I'm just going ahead and vacuuming the corner shelf to get all the hair and little bits of toys they had left. And then I'm just throwing all of the stuff back onto the corner shelf. So all their hidey houses and their little mats and their toys. Uh, and then I decided to empty out the litter boxes because they were bothering me. <laughs> so I just threw them in there. And then I am going and shaking out these towels so that all the hay and hair is off of them so I can go ahead and throw them in the washer. And then for the sheet, I decided to attempt to shake it into the garbage can, but that didn't really work. So I just shook it on the floor. So then I'm just shaking out these little rugs that I have and putting them up for the meantime. And then it's time to clean the hay boxes. This is the big challenge. Uh, I don't really enjoy doing it, but you have to empty all the hay out and vacuum it out and then I put the hay back in. Uh, so this is kind of a big task because those hay boxes are super, super heavy. I think they're like 25 pounds a piece uh, when I weighed them one time. So yeah, <laughs> then I got some hay from the garage and I am sticking it back uh, in the hay boxes to fill them all the way up. However, recently I've been having some brown chunks in the oxbow hay that I've been getting, which is a little annoying. So I've been having to throw some of it in the garbage uh, because the rabbits will just throw the brown pieces all over the floor. So, and then my pump started yelling at me. So I am fixing my pump. <laughs> and then I am grabbing the vacuum and vacuuming underneath where the hay boxes were. So that way I can just set the hay boxes back on there and it'll be all nice and clean. So then I'm just throwing the hay boxes back where they belong. And then this is all the hay that is like either not good or just like really dusty. And I just go ahead and throw that out uh, because I don't like my rabbits to have dusty hay. Uh, so then I'm just vacuuming the floor. It's really satisfying, but it took like 10 times as long as it did in this video to actually vacuum that, <laughs> but it looks really satisfying when it's sped up. So then I am just vacuuming or the rest of the room. So uh, these rugs are a little bit difficult to vacuum because they kind of get sucked up the vacuum cleaner if you don't do it correctly. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, they're honestly not the most easy thing to clean, but they look really nice, so that's why I like them. So I just kind of have to go back and forth all the way across the rugs until they are all nice and clean. And that's how I clean them. <laughs> I can throw them in the washer as well, but I have to vacuum them off first so that I don't clog my washing machine. Um, so yeah, the vacuuming is kind of annoying, but then I just put this Heidi house back in the corner and their litter boxes are over there and I'm finishing vacuuming the other rugs that I have because I have five of the rugs in their room right now. Um, I have a six rug out in the playtime area, but, uh, that's not in their room right now. So I'm just finishing vacuuming everything up. Then I grabbed my vinegar and water spray and I'm just spraying out the litter boxes. They really weren't that dirty at all. Honestly, I probably changed them a little bit too soon, but there was a lot of hay in them. So I just emptied them all out. So I'm just wiping them out with paper towel and cleaning them real quick. And then I put towels underneath my rabbit's litter boxes because if they pee over the edge or if they pee like right next to the litter box, I just want it to be very absorbent so it doesn't like get everywhere. And then I filled the litter boxes with Carefresh. I normally use pine pellets and Carefresh, 
but I'm out of pine pellets, so I just used a lot of Carefresh instead. Uh, it doesn't absorb the smell as well, so I don't prefer just using Carefresh, but it works in a pinch when you don't want to go buy new litter. So that's just what I did. And then I'm putting all their toys back onto the floor and that's basically it. That's the finished product. Now let's move to Lulu's room. These were filmed on different days, but I'm also infusing on this day as well. So ignore the backpack. Also my pants are wet and I have no idea why my pants are wet in this video. So please excuse that. Um, but I'm just taking everything off the floor, shaking it out, uh, putting it in the bathtub because it's just a really convenient place to put everything while I'm cleaning. Um, and then I had to redo Lulu's mini haven uh, because I had a divider in it and she didn't like the divider. So just took that out. And then I am emptying her litter box and shaking all of her fleece and towels into the garbage can. So I'm just shaking everything out into the garbage can so that I can go ahead and wash it. Uh, but then I'm just cleaning Lulu's litter box. Again, it wasn't that dirty, so I was just wiping it out with vinegar and water mixture. Um, and then taking her dog crate plastic thing out <laughs> and vacuuming the floor with the shop vac. I'll leave the shop vac link in the description because everyone always wants to know what I have. Um, so I really like my shop vac. It works really, really great. Uh, but I'm just vacuuming everything up and then I'm also vacuuming like the counter and the toilet off. <laughs> and then I am taking a sheet and laying it down on top of her memory foam mats. And this can be a little bit tricky sometimes because the room isn't like perfectly square. Um, but I'm just like, trying the best I can it's kind of wrinkly and then I put her dog crate thing back in her litter pan and then all of her accessories so I kind of keep things pretty basic in her pen because if you guys didn't know she's blind yeah so she's blind in one of her eyes so I like to keep things pretty simple and basic um, but I'm just filling her litter box up I had a little bit of pine pellets left in her room um, but then the rest is just care fresh so I really need to go get some more litter, but you know, quarantine and stuff. <laughs> so I'm just putting all the Carefresh in there, making it all nice and soft. And then I forgot to lay a towel down underneath her litter box because again, she sometimes pees over the edge because she's old uh, and then I thought it would be interesting to show you guys how I do my laundry basically shove everything in the washer and then I use cruelty free natural unscented soap and then I dump vinegar in the fabric softener container area and then I start the washer that's basically all I do um, and then I throw everything in the dryer when it's done um, and then the playtime area, I take everything out and then I pick up the big pieces of hay that I think might clog the vacuum and then I just run the Roomba. Um, I could use my shop vac and just vacuum the whole room, but because I have limited energy and cleaning is like really hard for me, I'd rather just a robot do it because that's so much easier. <laughs> so I just put my Roomba in there. It's not a real Roomba, it's an off-brand, but I'll link it in the description below if you guys are curious. It's literally the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. So <laughs> uh, yeah, halfway through I move the rug so that the Roomba like gets the other areas of the room. I don't know if that makes sense, um, but yeah. That's basically it. It does most of the job for me and I really, really like it. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then I put everything back into the playtime area and I kind of forgot to film most of it, but this is the finished product. I add more things throughout the week just when I am taking photos and stuff, but this is just the basics that I have in there right now. But yeah, that's basically it for today's clean with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you like this kind of video because I really enjoy these. 
Uh, so let me know if you guys do too. And don't forget if you like any of the toys and different things that I've shown in this video, like in the rabbit's rooms, a lot of them are available on my online shop, 101rabbits.com. I'll have it linked at the end of the video in the I card and in the description down below. And yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I'll see you guys very soon on a new one. Bye.